Hey guys, Mike here. Welcome back to the garage. Mike's garage, my garage. <laughs> Let me tell you, spring is here. I'm getting the girls ready. And when I say girls, I mean girls and guys because we got Prince and we got Princess. Now, what I'm doing today is um, doing a little cleanup on Princess. Now, I'm a little embarrassed to say this, and I did a cardinal sin. I know guys, Mike did a cardinal sin. With my other projects <clears throat> last fall, I painted um, an engine in the same, in my other shop. Um, I painted an engine and I didn't have princess covered. And, and it was like a long ways away, it's a big shop. And I thought, ah, it'll be fine. I'll just do a little touch up and next thing you know, do a bunch. So <laughs> I got some paint over spray on her. And if you look, you can't really see anything, but if you hear it, hear that roughness? Yeah, that's overspray. <laughs> I'm an idiot. I'm just gonna put it out there. It's true. I know, you're shocked as much as I am. No, I'm not shocked at all. Um, so yeah, I talked to our detail guy that we use all the time with work, and he said to get overspray off, you need to use a lacquer thinner. So, I tried it and I tried some right here. And if you listen, it's, it's smooth here. Same thing, smooth over here. I haven't done it yet. So it's, excuse me, rough. They're smooth. So the other problem I discovered, <laughs> I was using this hand and uh, kind of dries your hands out. You should probably wear gloves when you do it. So I did a little bit and I was like, you know, I think I better get some rubber gloves. And I noticed something today. Let me show you something today. I noticed something today that is absolutely fantastic. Now, I've had Princess for seven years. I bought her uh, Father's Day 2016. So this Father's Day 2023 will be seven years. And you know what? I've never replaced the tires. I mean, look at it. I still have tread. Granted, they're getting close to the wear bars, but am I really a proper Corvette owner if I still have the original tires seven years old? So, Princess has got to get tires because it's dangerous, for one thing, tires that old, because I'm not going <laughs> to do a high-speed run. Not that I would ever do that, but, um, well, maybe just a little bit. But this is exciting. So, oh! Sorry, I didn't need to do that. But... Look what's outside the door. <laughs> there's no ice. And well, there's a little bit over there, but. Uh... So you know what this means, guys? We can pull Princess out of the garage and work on it outside without getting stuck. Cause those tires are horrible on snow. Probably worse on ice to tell you the truth. Even when they were new, they were terrible. Cause you know, they're sport cup twos or whatever and they're not made for cold weather. Snow, ice, slippery stuff. And uh, I discovered using the lacquer thinner in an enclosed area, not really too good because it's very fumy. So anyways, I'm gonna pull Princess out, close the hood, mind you. And, uh, oh, I should probably put the ramps down because, <laughs> uh, yeah. and uh, we're gonna pull it out. Yep, yep, yep. We're gonna pull her out and put some heat in the engine and I'm gonna do some cleaning because you know what I'm an idiot should have never done that but I did it so now I got to own up to it luckily this car Prince we call it Prince um, still smooth um, I had the car cover on it plus some uh, moving mats so that car didn't get any overspray on it but uh, I'm an idiot so eh, what do you do got to own it Mike Got to fix our mistakes, so that's what we're going to do. <laughs> Here we go. Ah, we'll do the <clears throat> girl on a skirt sit. It's supposed to be better on your seat. <clears throat> yeah, I know. I don't know. That's what they say. Start. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Love it. Almost forgot though, <laughs> my battery tender's on. 
So we have to unhook the battery tender. We also have a, you know, stretch cord. Oh, there's my other top. Just unplug that. Put that there. Maybe we'll unplug it too. There we go. Now, we can pull Princess out. Princess, I love you so. I really do love this car. You can't beat the Corvette C7. Well, you might beat it with a C8 or a C8 Z06, but you know what? It just isn't in the cards right now, so. And we don't want to get rid of Princess. Oh, I wonder, you know, you can't even really, you can't tell there's overspray, so there's not much, but uh, we need to give her a shine job. That exhaust, oh! Love it. I think I need to get new plates. I'd like to get new plates just for the simple reason that in BC they, they we used to have the stickers, which is why it's October 2022. We don't do the stickers anymore. And so now I got a plate with ugly stickers. I should get a personalized plate. Except they don't have any real nice ones, so. Eh, whatever. We'll figure it out. I'm just glad to have her out. <laughs> and I can't get out of the driveway yet because it's snowy. So as soon as the snow goes away on the driveway down there, so I can go whoop through the dip. Oh yeah, we're driving her. Oh, we're driving her. <coughs> Another thing I actually thought about was wrapping Princess because I was looking at an, a red C8 Corvette and uh, I, I don't know if you guys know this about me, but I really like red. So I was thinking, how cool would it be to wrap it red? Except I kind of like the white too. I love the painted vent option. So with the painted vent option on the C7, you get this vent, which is normally black painted white color match. Um, the vents around your tail lights, as well as this little bit here, this trim piece and the vent on the hood. And I think it just sets the car off. Now. The one thing I don't like about white is my rock guard here. It's it's changed color. It's faded and it's yellowed. So I got a little bit of rock chip there, which is a bummer. But um, so that's kind of why I thought about wrapping. But I don't know. Should I wrap my car a different color? Should I do something crazy? Should I get some side skirts? Maybe. Maybe. But the yellow, I think the yellow is going to have to go, even if I replace it with new clear stuff. So. Anyways, I'm going to go get my, um, my uh, lacquer thinner and give this a try. So. <sighs> okay, so I got my uh, professional grade lacquer right there, thinner. I actually got it at... Um, um, Home Depot, <laughs> who'd have thunk it? So let's put some on here, whoop, <laughs> whoop, there it is. Set that over there and let's just give it a little wipesy. Yeah, look at that. It's not a lot, but it's enough. And I think I, I had some dust on the car and usually when you have dust on the car, it's easier to, to, you know, just wipe things like a little bit of overspray off. But I think all it did was trap the dirt, but foolish mistake. Learn from my mistakes, cover your car. Like what an idiot. I know that's yeah. Just cause yeah. You can lead a horse to water but you can't make them drink. There we go, that's better. That's better. So, <laughs> I just have to do this to the entire car. I'm thinking the top parts are gonna be worse, you know? And like this side doesn't actually seem as bad, oddly enough. 
unless I did it once already, but I don't, I mean, I washed it. My, my mirror caps. I really do like the, um, um, I forget what they call it, but I like the black. Yeah. Forget what it's called though. Oh yeah, shiny. And then after I do this, we can give her a, a nice little wax. Yeah. Nice little belly wax. Okay, that was weird. I don't know. Questioning the quality of my gloves. <laughs> Doo -doo 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 -doo. They're broken. But uh, that went better than expected. Wasn't as much overspray as I thought there could be, um, but it's probably self explanatory since you know you couldn't really see it, um, just feel it. But uh, yeah, now that I've got my Oh yeah, she's smooth now. So now, now, I think I'm gonna give her a coat of wax, but the clouds are a little gray, so I think we might put her in the barn. When I say barn, I mean garage, you know, and uh, give her a little wax job. Oh, and we'll consider it lesson learned. Oh, it smells so good in there. If you guys are ever thinking about buying a car, Corvette or something, get one with lots of Alcantara because it smells fantastic. Oh, love it. So anyways, guys, that's it for me. I'm going to put Princess back in the garage and uh, yeah, I think the week after next, we should be driving her. Maybe even next week. It's 12 degrees and the snow's melting. So yeah, thank goodness. <laughs> And it's about time, is what I'm saying. And we look at how dirty my cloth is. It's uh, it's pretty dirty. You know, not as bad as it could be, but um, but look at that. Yellow overspray, paint fumes. Who would have thunk it? Well, probably all of you guys, but uh, you know, sometimes I'm not the brightest bulb in the shed. <sighs> it's a hard thing to admit sometimes when you make mistakes. But anyways, guys, thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Peace!